a new computer. Now we're gonna install Linux and we're also gonna install Windows on this, but we're not gonna use any bootloaders. We're not gonna use Grub, we'll use the default bootloaders. We're not gonna use Grub. We're not gonna install them at the same time. And we're gonna do this in the most rock dumb, simple, idiot proof, fail proof, safe way possible. I can't even believe I'm making a video on this. It's so ridiculously easy and basic but this is the best way to install these two in my opinion you'll need more than one hard drive one for windows and one for linux so we're going to use the mp500 because windows is a resource hog and we're going to just love this 3300 megabytes per second on the on the the read there the write's also pretty good at up to 2400 25000 or 250000 iops and then for linux we don't need to go all out but uh, you know i went for the price to performance right here with the toshiba uh, just a standard SSD, 240 gigabytes, links in the description for these. Now what we're going to do is we are going to install Ubuntu first and we're only going to plug in this one drive, nothing else. We're not going to plug in any other cables. We're not going to put the M.2 in there. It's all going to be about this and Ubuntu is going to install as if it's the only operating system on the planet. Then we're going to unplug this. We're going to put this in and we're going to install Windows as if it's the only operating system in the planet. And the reason we do this is because after this is all said and done, you can easily just press a button to bring up a boot menu and then pick which one you want to boot from. So much easier. Nothing's going to be damaged. And if you wanted to like swap out hardware, if you wanted to remove one of these, you're not going to have to worry about messing up any files on any of the other hard drives, messing up your bootloaders or anything like that. It's just so stupid and easy and simple. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys how to get a copy of uh, Windows or anything like that, but if you're someone who's new to Linux and you wanna get a copy of Linux, I'll show you the easiest way to do that. So first off, we'll start off with Ubuntu. Got my installation media right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your favorite version of uh, Linux. Mine's gonna be Ubuntu, not necessarily my favorite, but. Uh, I wanted to get it because it has the most, I guess, compatibility, the most support. And, you know, if you're doing a gaming system, Debian based is the way to go. Just get whatever you want. Now, in order to put it onto a USB, I use Rufus. You guys can go to rufus.akeo.ie to grab Rufus. Once you do that, there it is. So with Rufus, it will it will detect your devices. It's like, oh, you've got the uh, USB right there. So, uh, you know, what it's going to do, it's going to create some USB media that you can use to install your OS. Uh, I like doing NTFS. It works just fine with the modern stuff. Uh, this, this works just fine as well. And then you can go in and select the ISO that you've just, just downloaded. So there's my uh, Ubuntu ISO file. There we go. We're going to write it. Now, when you write this, it'll ask you if you want to do it as a, you know, DD or an ISO. ISO is going to work for most people, uh, more advanced options, DD, if you guys know what you're doing, you can do that. Um, but go ahead and click on this. It's going to erase the volume, say yes, make sure that your USB has nothing important on it, and then uh, we're good to go. Take a few minutes to do this. Don't judge my cable management, I haven't managed it yet. So hidden beneath the jungle. That's a, just a regular SSD there. It's a Toshiba 240 gigabyte. I like it a lot because of the price to performance ratio. Also, it's going to be great for Ubuntu. That's the only one plugged in. Those are all unplugged. So just that and the installation media. Now install Ubuntu. It's very easy. You don't need a tutorial for that. It takes less time than it does to install Windows. All right, that was easy. Ubuntu is installed. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and power this down and I'm going to unplug that SSD and install one of my M.2 for Windows, and then I'm gonna install Windows. Back into the jungle. And unplug. So we've got our Windows install media inserted, turned on the computer. Everything is gonna be going right onto that M.2 that's underneath that fancy shroud. And you're just gonna install Windows as normal. You guys don't need a tutorial for this, right? Brand new drive. All right, so uh, Windows is installed, here it is, yay. We can log into this, but I'm just going to reboot right now. And, in, you know, well, I guess I'm going to power down, plug in my Ubuntu drive and all the other drives, and then reboot, and I'll show you what we do. All right, with most motherboards, to bring up the boot menu, you're going to press F11. Sometimes it's F10, but this one's F11. Just check and see what your UEFI says. On the bottom of the screen, it'll also give you this message saying, like, press this key to bring up the boot menu. So I hit F11. There we go. Windows, Boot Manager, Ubuntu. And then you can pick the actual drives. But these are just the drives that are installed. You're gonna to wanna to pick the different boot manager. Let's do Ubuntu this time. Well, that went swimmingly well. Lovely. And there we go. We have both 
operating systems installed and neither will interfere with the other one because it is in my opinion the safest and best way to do this thanks for watching this video and remember to support the content creators we have a really awesome store epicpants.com you can get shirts you can get mice you can get keyboards you can get all kinds of things hairdos maybe uh, but youtube's making it really difficult for content creators they're doing everything they can to get rid of all the niche and interesting content if you guys like this be sure to check out epic pants and we'll see you guys at techsyndicate.com we'll do some updates to make sure that that website um, is more usable